Hey, badass business owners, have you ever wondered why there are percentages on your profit and loss statement? Well, today we're going to take a look at them and help you understand why they are one of the most important things on your profit and loss. And if you don't see them, let me tell you why you want to see them. All right, on a typical profit and loss statement, you should see some numbers over here, which show the percentages. You have your dollar amounts and you have your percentages. And a lot of people go, what are those percentages? And if you don't see those percentages, you need to talk to your accountant because it's a simple button that they push when they print those profit and loss statements and they can add these percentages. And if you do your own profit and loss in QuickBooks or in one of the other ones, there is a button or a option that allows you to put the percentages on there as well. You need to make sure that you have have that on. And I'm going to tell you why, because I think you're going to find that this is a really powerful tool for you to increase your profits. Let's take a look at now. The main thing you got to do is let's focus on the basics first. Everything that you sell comes in to the business, correct? That's your sales. And then you're going to have money that goes out for your cost of goods. You're going to have money that goes out for your expenses. And if all plays out well, then at the end of the day, you have your business profits. Now, the thing to keep in mind is every single thing that comes into your business is up here at sales. So that's 100% because there's nothing above and beyond that yet. We haven't spent a dime. Sales come in, we have 100% of our money. And what we're going to do is we're going to show where that money goes and how that breaks down. Now, the key is to remember the number one calculation that if you've been following me, I preach all the time. This is the only thing you really need to super memorize. And that is sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals your profits. This is important for you to know for your pricing. And we talk about that in our pricing videos. But more importantly, it's important for you when it comes to your profit and loss. And by the way, do you notice that it follows the sales funnel? All right. So this is important for you to keep in mind. Now, when we're looking at our profit and loss, let's see how it plays to that. We have sales, which is known as income on your profit and loss statement. We have cost of goods right here. Then we have our expenses. And finally, we end up with our profits. Sales, minus cost of goods, minus expenses equals profits. And what you're noticing is your profit and loss statement follows that same calculation that I'm always telling you, you need to know. Now, what we're going to focus on in this video is over here on the percentages and where do those percentages come from and how do you calculate them out? And more importantly, why are they important for you to know? Well, let's start breaking this down, shall we? Now, earlier I said that everything is a percent of sales and your sales are 100% of what comes in. So you're going to notice that regardless of what you are selling, so you'll notice that there's services, products, you can break all of that down. But at the end of the day, your total sales is 100%. That's all the money that comes in to the business. That's always going to be 100%. And it's important that you keep that in mind. Now, first off, let's talk about why you need to understand these percentages, because every cost, every expense is a percent of your sales. It's a piece of that. It doesn't matter what it is. Your auto expenses are a percent of your sales. Your phone expenses is a percent of the sales. The advertising that you do is a percent of sales. And yes, even your employees, your payroll is a percent of sales. Matter of fact, payroll's broken out a few different times on your profit and loss. And it's important that you understand every single thing is a percent of sales, including your bottom line profit number. Now let's take a closer look here, because if you know the percentages, it's going to give you insight into your business. And we're going to take a look at a couple of examples. Let's take a look at advertising. Let's just say you normally spend about $400 on advertising and you've decided that, hey, there's this great opportunity and I'm going to jump that up to $1,000. Well, if we're new, your percentages, you'll know that, okay, when I'm doing my normal budgeting, it's around 5% is how much money of my sales I spend on advertising. Well, if you want to get the return on the investment and the return on the $1,000 that you spend, but you want to try to keep it still at that 5%, you need to know what you need to do in sales in order for that thousand dollars to pay for itself to stay in that 5%. Well, let's take a look. If you do the 5% with the 400, your sales are typically around $8,000. Well, if you spend the thousand dollars, the return that you're hoping to get to keep it at the 5% is now $20,000. If not, anything in between is going to be a higher percentage. Let's just say that you don't have an increase in sales at all. So you went out, you gambled, you tried something for an extra 600 bucks and your sales are still at that same $8,000. Well, let's see what that does to your percent. You go from 5% to a whopping 12.5%. 
That's how you spent your money. So when you're looking at your sales, if they don't change and you spent more money in advertising and it jumps and you don't get that return, it jumps to 12.5% in this particular example. That's important for you to know because now you can say, okay, that doesn't work. I need to pull back. Or you need to say, that's fine. I'm going to gamble for the next couple of months in hopes to hit that $20,000. Let's take a look at another example. And that would be payroll. Let's just say you have one person on your team and you pay them, I think it's like 12, 13 bucks an hour. 40 hours a week, they're going to make about $1,500 and your sales are about $6,000. So what percentage are you spending on this employee? Well, that's about 25%. Now let's just say you've gone out, the business has grown and now you have a five person team and now your payroll has jumped to $7,500. Your sales, they've also increased. They've increased to $25,000. And right now you're like, oh, this is not too bad. Well, let's see what percentage you're now spending on your payroll. Well, now you're spending 30% on your payroll. Now that might not be a bad thing. What you have to ask yourself is if I want to get this back down to 25%, one of two things need to happen. Either I need to get more out of these employees to increase those sales, or I may need to use less payroll, meaning I need to cut their hours. I need to let someone go, whatever the case may be. But if your goal is to stay at that 25%, something has to change. So you either need to get more productivity and get more sales, or you need to let someone go. This is why you see some of these businesses have to make hard decisions because they have a payroll percent that they must meet every single month, which is why you see layoffs, people being let go, hours being reduced. It's because of this percentage, which is really critical, which is what these businesses try to stick to. And that's one of the things you want to, as you grow your business, you want to do the exact same thing. Now the question becomes, how do I calculate this out? Sounds great, Tammy. I'm getting excited. How do I do this? Well, the first thing you have to remember is everything is a percent of sales. And if you remember that, it's going to make it 10 times easier. So let's just say that your sales are $3,500 and you spend about 150 bucks on your phone. What percentage is your phone of your sales? Well, you're going to take the $150, that's the expense, and divide it by your sales because everything's divided by sales. So 150 divided by the 3,500 means it's 0.043, which is 4.3%. So in this case, if your cell phone is 150 and your sales are 350, you're spending 4.3% of every dollar you make on this phone. Now, for some of you, I know you're visual learners, so let me show you another way to better understand percentages and how this all goes. Let's pretend that 100% is really a dollar. There's 100 pennies, a dollar, 100%. We've all kind of learned this as kids when we were coming up. And everything going out of your business is the change you make from that dollar because you have to break the dollar to be able to spend it on these other items that you're doing. And that's how we're going to look at it. So if we come back here to our profit and loss, we know our sales are 100%. And if we drop down here to our cost to goods, we see that 48% of that 100% is spent on costs, on wages, materials, stuff like that. And visually, what would that look like? Well, if our dollar represents the 100%, that means our cost of goods is 48%, which means 48 cents of every dollar is going out towards cost of goods, in this case, labor and materials for this particular example. Now, if we come back to our PNL, remember we keep going down the flow. Our top line here is gross profit. Now I talk more about gross profit in our uh, learning sessions on the profit and loss statement. You can check that one out here. I'll put a link to it also in the show notes, but that leaves us, if we're spending 48.1%, that leaves us 51.9. We're gonna be rounding up for our examples here. Now your gross profit is just letting you know how much more money you have left over for your expenses and your profits. In this case, our expenses are going to run 20.6 and our profit is going to run 31.3%. So let's go back to our visual, shall we? We know our sales are 100%. Our cost of goods we know is 48%. Our expenses are 20% and our profit is 32%. So for those of you that like to look at the funnel version of it, this is what that would look like. And if you want to look at our visual with our money, we know our sales are 100%, so our dollar. We've got our cost of goods. We're spending 48 cents of every dollar on cost of goods. Our expenses are taking 20 cents of every dollar and our profits are accounting for 32 cents of every dollar. So if you add up all those coins on there, it's going to equal that dollar. So hopefully that helps you understand a little bit better when you're trying to do percentages. The main thing you got to keep in mind is that everything is a percent of sales. That's one of the most important things you need to keep in mind because when you're doing the calculation, it's everything is divided by those sales. Now let's take a look a little bit deeper and why you want to keep understanding this because you can look at every line on your profit and loss and see what they run. Here are three examples. Advertising and promotion in this particular PNL is 
2.1%, two cents of every dollar. Their insurance runs 3.1% or three cents of every dollar. And their payroll expenses, which are different than your labor costs, right? Because those are under your cost of goods, but you have payroll that you have to run and you have uh, marketing, you have owner's wages, you have payroll taxes, you have all kinds of other stuff. In this case, for this particular owner, it's 4.7% or basically almost a nickel of every dollar they take in is going towards this expense. So this allows you to be able to break this down, including maintenance and repair, telephones, uniforms, you can, you name it, you can track it and you can see how much money you're spending on each of those. Keep in mind, sales are always a hundred percent. Every dollar you make is 100% for your sales and all the change, if what you make from that dollar is going out for any of these different expenses in which you have. You can either track them in groups, cost of goods and expenses and profit, or you can break them down by line item. It's going to help you out. And if you want to learn more about your profit and loss statement, like I said earlier, you can check out this playlist or you can check out the link down below.